I'm here in the vineyards of Brunello di Montalcino. It's a cold January morning. I've been in the region already for three or four days, tasting about 140 wines and blind tastings in the Growers Association, right up there in the town of Montalcino. But actually now I'm going to the different vineyards, talking to winemakers, consultants, talking to wine merchants, finding out why 2006 is such a great year. In my opinion, it's the new 1997, which was the benchmark for Brunello di Montalcino. So stay tuned to find out why the wines are so great. I'm here in the vineyards of Valdi Cava in Montalcino. Valdi Cava is one of the top producers of Brunello de Montalcino. But more importantly for me, the owner here, Vincenzo Abruzzesi, is one of the great vineyard owners, one of the great vineyardists, the guy that actually spends his whole time in the vineyards. He knows the vineyards, he knows Sangiovese, and I gotta ask him about 206, why it was such a great year. Because I think it all happened here, these vines in the soil. Tell me, so why is 06 so amazing? My opinion is that uh, we had in the past uh, three, four great vintage, like 90, 93, 95. And this great vintage gave us uh, the possibility to invest in our vineyard, mm -hmm. to have uh, better vines, better rootstock, better choice of the field to plant a vineyard. And today, after 10, 15 years, we start to have the first results. And, well, to explain a little bit, uh, yeah. even the vines here, you were saying that, that they're much more balanced now, there's lower yields. As you can see, in Val di Cava, we try to pay attention to save the balance of the place, mm -hmm. to exalt the individual character of the property. So we save our grass, we save our vines, we look for the balance of the vines. If uh, these vines has uh, uh, good strongness, we try to respect this strongness, mm -hmm. this power, the rigor. and uh, we don't cut too short, but we give uh, to the vines the possibility to exprime according to nature. In the nature, the balance of the vines will be respected because uh, the place is stronger than my work. Mm -hmm. And my work is to work in balance with the place. So we're in the vineyards and you can see how these vines are in perfect balance. You can see even better when there's leaves. Look at the canes, they're all the same length. You see how everything's in proportion. The vine is just in perfect balance. It's like a person that's been trained to perfection, an Olympic athlete ready to try to win a gold. That's amazing. Que bello. Thank you. I'm here with Giacomo Neri of Casanova di Neri. Casanova di Neri for years has been one of the top producers of Brunello di Montalcino. So obviously I gotta ask Giacomo, 2006, why is it so special? The most important thing is the, the, the weather. Yeah, the, the weather nature. in 2006 in was, uh, yes. See, it is the most important uh, thing. In, in a, about the 06 quality and it's very very balanced and there is a little different and in, in between 1997 and 2006 uh, there are 10 vintage more That's and there is a little experience. more experience yeah i don't change a lot but i change a little in the, in the time of the fermentation in the, the time of the cask yeah and i believe the reason is also this that That's in important. the 06 uh, is um, more more balance. The wine is uh, rich, but uh, is elegant at the same yeah. time. It's, uh, it's long, and I believe uh, that uh, 06 uh, uh, will be a vintage for a long, long time. Yeah. If you conserve uh, for 10 years more, uh, will be it much will be much better. better than now. Also right. now, if you if if you drink, uh, yeah, that's what I like uh, about it. it. It's not so bad. No. It's not so bad. I'm here with Giancarlo Pacianti of Sierra Pacianti. For me, one of the top producers of Bruno Montalcino. I mean, really, tell me, when, when, you, when the grapes came in, when you were picking the grapes, did you know you had a great vintage? Did you see the grapes and you tasted them and you well, thought? If you, you tested the, the, the grapes, yeah. you have a 
you, you had, we had the same impression that um, uh, we have now in, in the, the wine. wine. So you it's taste here going, it's wow! It's balanced, it's, it's good. We, yeah. we can say that we said that uh, is a very, very, very good uh, perfection, good uh, fineness, yeah. extremely yes. fine. We can say that extremely fine uh, in, uh, in the grapes before and in the wine now. I remember tasting the wines a uh, few months after the harvest. I remember coming here and tasting, yeah, yeah. like I always do. Maybe we didn't even know how great the wines were. Uh, because uh, perhaps uh, uh, the wine uh, was uh, not very easy to understand. understand. Uh, need time, uh, need uh, to uh, to grow in in uh, in, uh, in wood, in barrique yeah. before uh, and in bottles after. Yeah. Now we can speak about a very great harvest, a very great vintage. I agree. I'm here in Tuscany, very close to my house near Arezzo. Uh, I live in Il Borro, but I always go to this restaurant called Aquilino, Osteria Aquilino. There's Paolo Tizzanini. I've been seeing the guy for years, and I gotta go ask him, 2006 amazing vintage of Brunello. I gotta find out what do you eat with it. So let's go in the kitchen and find out from Paolo. Se no mi metto. Eccolo James. <laughs> Ciao Paolo. Ciao, buonasera. Tutto bene? Eh? Bene, grazie. Ma sempre sono qui. I'm happy to be here. I'm always here. But Paolo, I gotta ask you. You know, 2006, do you mean I sing Grande Annata del Brunello? Grande Annata, 2006 è una grande annata per il Brunello. Are you saying it's a great year from, for Brunello? But ma che devo, ma gente che devono mangiare? Grandi Brunello, Grandi San Giovese. What do you Con mean? Con Grandi Brunelli dobbiamo mangiare anatra, dobbiamo mangiare carni grasse. Ma voglio vedere, guarda. He said you got to eat a, you know, beautiful duck. Perché sempre gente pensano beef steak, uh, no. meglio, a big steak is better. Come mai anatra? Peposo dell'impruneta, piatto del 1300, è un grande no. piatto. È una carne molto grassa e il Brunello riesce a sgrassare e a pulire la bocca. He's saying that basically you're, the, what you're eating has to have a lot of fat in it, you know, sort of uh, thick and oily, because, perché questa acidità di Brunello... Ok, James, that. big food for big wine. I like that, that's cool. It's ok. Is that the rule? That's <laughs> grande. <laughs> I'm here at my house in Tuscany with Enrico Bellecchio, the managing director of Castello Banfi. <clears throat> Banfi is really one of the benchmarks of uh, Brunello Montalcino, American owned. They've been making uh, great Brunellos uh, for decades. The interesting thing is actually Banfi is a household name in so many countries. If it wasn't for Banfi, people wouldn't know Brunello Montalcino because you see it in Singapore, Beijing, Montreal, San Francisco, New York, wherever. And that's really important. So you make a lot of wine, but you make very high quality. But 2006 is such a special vintage. Tell me a little bit, Enrico, why you think it's so great. I think that uh, we are very lucky in Montreal. We will have uh, two very nice vintage uh, consecutive 2006 and 2007. 2006 has been uh, a wonderful vintage, and what is nice that is uh, a vintage that is coming exactly after 10 years, 97. I think there is also an evolution in the vineyards. Uh, we are uh, working with vineyards that are also in certain cases uh, 10 years older than what it was in 97. Exactly. And in a variety like San Giovese, this has uh, a lot of effect because. Uh, the optimal results, uh, Sangiovese is a variety that is uh, naturally very vigorous and very productive. When, so in the first, uh, in the younger vineyards, uh, you are forced to do a lot of pruning, a lot of uh, selection, a lot of green harvesting, but then more the vineyards are getting older or mature, more the vineyards is arriving to a, a natural balance, a natural harmony. But that's what I love is the 2006 is the balance, everything's in proportion. Lots of tannins, lots of fruit, lots of acidity, and then all of a sudden it seems sort of light, delicate, but underneath it's rich and powerful. I think only grapes like Sangiovese, Pinot Noir, Nebbiolo, 
can do things like that. I'm here with Lamberto Frescobaldi. His family's been making wine in Tuscany for 700 years. They make a beautiful uh, Brunello Montalcino from Castel Giocondo, their estate. Fabulous wines. I gotta ask you about this vintage. And everyone's talking about it. Apparently, now in 2006, the, the, the skins were actually a little bit thicker. So it yeah. was fermenting, you could extract. Yeah. Because, was... because the quality of a wine is in the skin. Uh, if, you, if you peel, uh, a, 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 a good variety like Sangiovese or Merlot, Cabernet, if you peel that, that berry, it's going to be white. Yeah. So uh, try and do juice from a white, uh, from a red variety, drained, no good. So the quality is in the skin. And you're right, 06 gave us, we were blessed by thick skin. And when you do pump overs, that skin doesn't break, oh. doesn't get uh, mushy. So it remains there and is able to release all the good uh, variety, the good qualities that are in the skin. Wine, what it is, is alcohol, mm, water, <laughs> and 516 maybe uh, components. Those 516 components are in the skin. Us. And they make the difference. It's true that uh, when you think about it, you know, 1997, in a way, Mother Nature made the wine. But, you know, we're, uh, what, nine years later with 2006? And you can tell the wines are more precise, better made. There's really, you know, people knew what they were doing. There's a big change there in winemaking and viticulture. No? You're right. You're right. There is much more knowledge these days in them. Um, uh, the last uh, 10, 15 years really changed uh, our way of approaching the vineyards, the vines, the varieties, the clones. And more people went into studying uh, the wines. Yeah. Uh, university, they put yeah. more classes about wines. So there are more talented young people that they can actually, with, with great passion, uh, never, never, uh, let's never forget that wine, yes, it's a question about location, place, harvest, uh, vintage, but then uh, also amazing people that they are back there that we don't, we, 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 are not, we don't see them inside, but there are a lot of people behind this glass. 206 for me, the new benchmark for Sangiovese, the greatest vintage ever. Well, congratulations. Thank Amazing, you. man. Thank you.